Greetings, Merlon Guru here, and today I'm going to show you how to kill Lu Bu, bodyguard of Dong Zhuo, lover of Dio Chan. And you're going to insult him by fighting naked. It's a great insult to his strength. He's got a number of different critical blow attacks, which you must be struggling to time. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? So to make it easier to deal with them, we'll be using the Aqua Blink Water spell, as it lets you teleport, allowing you to pass through any of his critical attacks. So if there is a particular move that you can't time, avoid, or deflect, then just use Aqua Blink to teleport right through it. You'll have to put 20 points into the Water Virtue Tree to use it, but it definitely comes in useful for some of his moveset. With respec if you have to, it's free. Once you fill up his spirit gauge, you'll be able to knock him off his horse. He's a lot more aggressive on the floor, and there's a lot of new moves. This is where your allies will come in handy, as they will distract him from some of his face, allowing you to attack him from behind, or hit him from a distance with the Frost Lance spell. He has three critical blow attacks when he's on foot, and you can use the Aqua Bling spell to avoid these if you need to. But it's best to try and learn the timing of at least one of them, it will help end the fight a lot quicker. We'll shoot arrows at you while on foot too. This time you can fire two groups of them in succession. So always be prepared to block or deflect the second wave. Another spell from the water tree that we will use is the Frost Lance spell as it homes in on your target. And as Lubu is constantly riding or jumping around, then it's a good choice to keep the pressure on him for when he isn't close to you. Once you get his health down around halfway, he will return to his horse, Red Hair. The fastest horse in ancient China. So it's hard to stay up close with him when he's on his steed, so make sure to use the Frost Lance spell regularly. He has two critical attacks on the horse. One where he jumps into the air and lands on you. And if you want to counter that, you're going to have to press the button as soon as he starts to descend from his jump, as he reaches you quickly. So you have to press it quite early. The second of his critical attacks is where he will charge you on the horse. The window for deflecting this is small, so you'll have to press the button sooner than you think, just like the previous move. You can always use the Aqua Blink spell to avoid both of these attacks if you're struggling to figure out the timing. He'll also shoot arrows at you frequently when he's on his horse. These are easy to block or deflect, and you can use them to your advantage as a way to build up your spirit gauge. Make sure to bring your two favorite companions with you to keep the heat off for some of the fight. You can use the Absorb Vitality spell to keep them alive for longer as you'll let them regain some of their health when they hit the boss. You should be able to knock him off again quicker this time now that you are familiar with his attacks. When you do, it is the same plan as before. So don't lose your patience and start to make basic mistakes just because you want to get the fight over with. Because you're afraid, aren't you? I sense your fear you're fighting Lu Bu. The motto is don't pursue Lu Bu. Here you're trapped in the arena of pain. If you stay the course, then you'll get your reward in the end. And Lu Bu will be hidden. I know this isn't the cheese you're wanting. You're wanting me to like jump off a hidden edge, fall into an infinite eternity, and Lu Bu just dies like an Elden Ring. I haven't figured that one out yet. It's there at all. Harder for developers to spot mistakes in open world, but this is linear. Might never be an easier cheese than this. This isn't even a cheese. It's a strategy. The easiest one I could discover so far. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more guides for well long. Tips and secrets and a rage playthrough by an Annette player with a bad temper. And he's not me. The guru never dies in a game. Farewell for now.